going to find the intercepts and draw the graph. So we'll go ahead and do it in a little table form since we have to draw the graph. And for x-intercept, remember that's when we plug the 0 into the y. So this one will be x-intercept. So we have x minus, we're plugging 0 into the y, equals 7. And so the minus 0 is not going to matter. So we'll have x equals 7. That is the x-intercept. Now we'll switch and we'll plug 0 into x. This will give us the y-intercept. And so back to our original equation, 0 into x minus y equals 7. The 0 is not going to matter. Don't lose your minus sign. This one is going to need one more solve step. You have to divide out the negative 1. So you get y equals negative 7. And now we'll plot the points on our grid. So 7, 0. So I only have 6. I have to go over one more. And 0, negative 7. So don't go over, but go down 7. Let's look at one more problem. We're going to find the intercepts and draw the graph. So again, we'll go with a little table since we're going to have to graph it. And to find the intercepts, x-intercept, we plug 0 in the y spot. So in our equation, we're going to substitute 0 into the y. which is going to make that piece cancel. 4 times 0 is 0. So that's out. 7x equals negative 28. Divide by 7. x equals negative 4. So our x-intercept is negative 4, 0. Then we'll find our y-intercept, which says put 0 into the x. Um, I'm going to go over here on the corner since I'm out of room. So I'm still back to the original equation, except this time I'm going to put 0 into the x. Seven times zero is zero, so that cancels. And so we have a negative four y equals negative 28. Divide by negative four. So y equals two negatives in the division will give you a positive 7. So now we'll plot negative 4, 0, x-intercept should land on the x-axis. It does. And then 0, 7. So don't go over, but go up 7. So we're a little bit off. And then we'll connect the points to have our graph.